Hello, lovely Leo, and welcome in. This is going to be a collective reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, North Node, wherever you have Leo in your chart. So Leo, as we begin your reading, we're going to start with the tarot cards. We're going to do a Two of Hearts tarot reading, and it's going to be one energy card for overall your current energy. The second card will be the current energy of what's coming toward you and love the person, right? Their energy. And this will be from February 1st through February 15th. Leo, you do have a full moon this month. I believe it's going to be on February 16th is what I'm feeling here. So it's going to be also here a very rare time when Venus and Mars will meet up. So, Leo, it's going to be highlighting the areas of values, investments, and income. All in all, Leo, King of Swords here. Somebody wants to talk to you, 111. So, Leo, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I feel overall this person here is somebody that wants to tell you the truth in a situation. This is clear-cut communication. I feel that overall, there's a feeling of somebody detached, okay, Leo, from you. So it feels like this is a very intellect, um, intellectual person that's coming towards you, Leo. This is somebody here that's coming in overall with an honest approach. So somebody's getting ready here. And I felt Knight of Swords, wow, fast communication. You're coming up as Air Leo and the Empress, okay. So your person, you could be dealing, Leo, with a Libra or a Taurus. We have Venus, the Empress here. Leo, I feel you're connecting with a mother figure here, a divine feminine. Somebody here that, Leo, overall, I feel like um, this could be like the feminine. It's an Empress. Somebody here that you're looking at that's quite abundant, right? This Empress here is beautiful. There's someone here that you're connecting to that's a mother figure, right? Somebody here could be very fertile. Someone could be pregnant. Someone could have definitely just had a child. That card's gorgeous, right? The Empress. No doubt about it. This Empress here is the divine feminine, right? Energy. Um, nurturing. Somebody here who's feminine. Um, doesn't have to be a man or woman. It's all energy. But overall, somebody diligent here, right? This Knight of Swords, I feel, Leo... It feels like you could be the one ru rushing in to communicate with this person here, okay? There's a level of um, a connection here that I feel overall. You could be connecting with somebody here that is this, this, this feminine type here, but it feels like there's drama. There's chaos. This King of Swords here, <clears throat> Seven of Swords. Somebody here, definitely, I feel the Empress is feeling quite um, a feeling of there's regrets here. There was a dramatic situation here, Seven of Swords. I feel somebody here definitely um, regrets a decision that they made here to the Empress, and there's rushed in communication. The Knight of Cups is right underneath there. So we have two Knights here. There's action coming in, somebody wanting to open up. I feel that there's been this energy of Pisces, right, in Neptune. Someone here that felt very restricted, okay, in this connection, and now they're coming in. So if there was a delay in communication, this person you haven't spoken to in a while here, it feels like rushed in communication is coming in. The Seven of Swords is, yes, a betrayal. Someone here that got away with something, right? Somebody here that definitely, um, there was deception. Someone was taken advantage of. I feel someone took advantage, and that's how I feel you're feeling overall, Leo, okay? Now, you can reverse the scripts here on the energy, Leo, but what I'm picking up is there's a feeling of you um, very opinionated, wanting to take action, wanting to lash out on somebody right now. Somebody here is lashing out. So let's see what's going on, okay? I also saw the Ten of Swords that shot out, and I also feel this feeling of, I will overcome this, right? The King of Swords. 
taking your authority back, okay? Being honest, looking at this here with a clear head, right? Learned your lesson in a situation here, Leo. And it feels like whatever mistakes that were done here, anything that there was regrets here, I feel you are overcoming the situation here overall. So let's see what this person that's coming towards you, how they view you. Yeah, if this is a Taurus energy, someone here is feeling like um, a feeling of very stubborn, okay? You could be dealing with someone that's feeling very stubborn, holding back, creating resistance, um, blocking your heart here. So, yeah, there's a feeling of this person holding back, holding on to, or holding back, creating resistance. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. The situation that they're currently going in is 4-4. They're questioning their stability. This person here is coming into knowing their worth now. Someone here knows their worth in the, in the situation. So it feels like overall, there's somebody here that's, that's not opening up to this cup, right? Your person, how they're viewing this currently is like, there's something that they're not seeing. They're holding back, right? Eight of Pentacles. They're working on their self, self-love. This person here, I feel like there, there's somebody here also overcoming this situation. So if you're dealing with someone here, they're coming to this point where it's reflection of self-love, right? Coming from a place here of not opened up to any offers here, just not your casual flings. They're working on self-love, self-mastery here is what I feel overall. And your person currently is in the feeling here of not opened up, not wanting to talk, not not opened up is what I feel. Yeah, sun card. Something here very positive is coming in and this is how they view the relationship. They view, the, they view this relationship as quite surprising, right? Sun energy, Leo. They view you as somebody here that there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of chemistry here. It also feels like the sun card is... This person views this relationship in a very positive note. Somebody here is ready to give a rebirth, right? This person you're connecting to. They're hoping for a renewal, I feel. I feel they're coming out of the situation of not blocking um, a love offer, 4-4, four, four, right? Opening up to something here, Ace of Wands. So it feels like... A positive message comes through, something here with inspiration, right? A breakthrough is happening, I feel, in the way that they view this relationship. Hoping for a breakthrough with you. Hoping that you accept this offer here. And it's a positive offer is what I feel. Sun, right? A lot of chemistry, a lot of biology. Very attractive to this person. They're very attracted with you overall, Leo, is what I feel. How are they viewing long-term? Nine of Wands. So your person could be Aries, Leo, Sag. It feels like they're hanging on by a thread right now. Yeah, this person. Nine of Wands. There's a, there's a feeling of them feeling wounded here. But not trusting the situation altogether. Someone's not trusting it, it is what I feel your person. There's a sense here of blocking their emotions. Yes, and then the Empress is in reverse of how your person's feeling emotionally about this situation here. So the Empress in reverse is there's a block here. There's a creative block here. Yeah. There's a feeling of dependency, right? Codependency here also. So we have the Empress in the upright position, right, of their overall energy. You're dealing with um, an Empress here. So it's like this empress was definitely felt shot down, okay? A lack of knowing their self-worth, knowing their values in the situation. Emotionally, in long-term views, not trusting the situation. A feeling like they've been wounded. A feeling like they've been hurt, right? Somebody took advantage of the empress. It's like, who can stand in that place, right? So someone here is definitely, it feels like a betrayal on the empress, right? Page of Swords. So, a feeling of somebody here could be all talk, no action, right? Also, undelivered promises. I'm feeling there's a lack here. There's a feeling of curiosity. It feels like they're definitely looking in on you. They're, they're stalking you. There's a sense of them watching you here. 
but like I felt codependency, the black in your person's view. They're being blocked, Leo, is what I feel. Somebody here has a fear of commitment, okay? There's a sense of codependency, toxic behaviors that your person has, okay? Devil energy, Capricorn energy. So what's blocking their views here is a sense of addictions, a sense of confusion, conformity, feeling stuck, feeling very stuck, right? Creative block here, Saturn and Capricorn rules time. So Saturn is a very stern, masculine energy. So it feels like something here is definitely blocking them. This four of pentacles and four, four of cups is, they're blocking this connection right now, is what I feel. There's a sense of them not trusting it, but yet the sense of the sun card is, there is a time here where they view this. I feel it's like night and day here, right? Night and day, lightness, darkness, right? Yeah, and soon as I said light and darkness, the moon was here. It's like the sun and the moon here. Things change here day to day. Like on a, It's like within, there's a sense of positive during the day and at night when they go to bed here, this person's definitely down in the gloom here. It's a feeling of uh, confusion, fear, unhappy, right? Insecure, feeling insecure. It's like during the day, they try to definitely, someone's, I feel, Leo, your person here is, that's exactly a day and night, those differences. They do miss you. There's a sense of loving you, right? There's love here. Moon, but they fear connection. They fear this connection. So the advice overall for Leo, Knight of Cups, movement forward, right? Making the offer here. Um, coming to this energy where I feel rushing in, right? You're coming in from just rushing in, Knight of Swords, wanting to open up, wanting to talk to this person. I feel the advice is to be charming, to romance this person, to make a love offer to this person here is what I feel. I feel your person, Leo, here, and like I feel the Empress is right in the middle of this reading. It's like someone definitely hurt this Empress, right? Ten of Wands. There was definitely um, grudges that were being held here. Ten of Wands, Leo. A sense of a lot of hard work, a lot of responsibilities. The temperance is what is hidden. Divine timing is here. What's hidden is there's an imbalance here. Um, there's a lack of long-term vision. This person's got an imbalance going on. It's like they're hope, there is a, a, a feeling of them hoping, right, for the sense of things to be coming in divine order, right? Abundance, uh, fertility, growth. And then there's a sense of what triggers them here. There's some kind of a codependency's trigger where there's a block here and disconnection. Blocking communication, blocking that new beginning here. Temperance is what's hidden. Sagittarius of significance. Yeah, there, now, there it is. A lack of long-term views and the outcome is the Ten of Coins. So it feels like somebody's blocking their blessings because there's a level of confusion. So the first two of weeks, there's options here, Seven of Cups. A feeling of somebody here has their head up in the clouds. Someone here is thinking, right? They have choices here. But there's a sense here of divine timing, right? Taking place. So there's an imbalance on long-term views. But yet the Ten of Coins is here. A family, a situation coming into success, right? Somebody here that I feel that you have this feeling here of you looking at this connection where there's long term right with the empress but seven of cups nine of cups yeah somebody's really stressed out someone's having sleepless nights here your person it feels like there was a level of wish fulfillment leo nine of cups you have cancer scorpio or pisces here significantly and the lovers there's a decision in love a choice and somebody here has options. Somebody has choices in love, Seven of Cups. And I feel that's how they're feeling about you. Somebody's feeling that there's options here and they didn't want to be an option. Like the Empress is not an option. She's not a chaser either, right? She doesn't chase love. So there's a separation from a divine partner here that's out of balance, right? Lovers. There's a decision that needs to be made here about a partner that you have here. 
and this is an empress. So there's things that are out of alignment that this person here is stressing out about. There's doubt, there's negativity, like I said, at night. During the day, they're good. They're nine of cups, they're satisfied. They're good on their own, you know, nine of cups. A feeling of wish fulfillment. You're their wish fulfillment, Leo, is what I feel. But I feel this option here that you have, you have lots of options in love, and this person is definitely doubting their connection with you. Overall, they're feeling like there's a player energy. There's like this level of inconsistency, Knight of Wands, right? There's somebody here that plays around, that's in and out of a situation. Overall, that created a separation, right? A breakup. And somebody here is definitely doubting this connection now. So someone's very confused about you, Leo, is what I'm sensing. So let's see what these thoughts and secrets are. From this person, Leo. In February. Yep, I dream of you. Mm -hmm. Somebody here is having dreams with you. Like I feel that, that Seven of Cups here and this Nine of Swords at night, this person is connecting to you. Through your dreams. I'm waiting for the right time. Okay, timing is going to be everything. And that's what's hidden. Yeah, your person is waiting for the right time to come and talk to you. There are no swords here, so there's no clarity. I feel the only swords that you have is coming in your energy. So it might be, I feel like that divine timing is coming in now, communication overall. There was a third party situation here. Don't give up on me. Yeah, they don't want you to give up on them. I'm still stuck. Yes, I, I felt it. Four of coins, four of cups. Your person's stuck right now. There's a lack of long-term vision with, it, with you. There's a creative block here. There's a feeling of dependent on others, right? A feeling of, of this mindset here of a needing to pick up on this love vibration, the empress, right? <clears throat> Working on herself. Yeah, I want to come back home. And will you forgive me? Okay, Leo. Yep. And there was a feeling of taking advantage of, right? Deep regrets, deep mistakes here. Somebody made a big mistake, Leo, is what I feel. And they're regretting how they treated you here, is what I feel. So, yep, that's the advice for February 1st to the 15th. Thank you, Leo. I appreciate all your likes your subscribes. I thank you for joining me. We'll see you soon.